Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your monthly tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for May 2019. I hope you well Aquarius. So we have the four general energies of the month. We have the star, the moon card, the king of cups, the empress. The overarching energy of the month is the wheel of fortune. Beautiful, Aqu beautiful Aquarius. Top two cards but three popped out we have the seven of pentacles the world card and the hierophant so beautiful for love romance relationships bottom two cards again three popped out we have for business finances money career with the three of cups temperance and the emperor amazing so very powerful lots of major arcana so i think it's a big month for you aquarius now, I pulled an angel oracle card and also two angel romance cards came out too. So the angel oracle card is Prosperity, Archangel Ariel. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. Gorgeous. Now, the angel romance card, obviously this won't resonate with everybody, but this is soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate amazing and the other card that popped out was wedding this situation involves marriage so amazing beautiful beautiful i'm going to start with the wheel of fortune so the wheel of fortune a uh, very jupiterian card talks about opportunity good luck coming your way this is where you can connect to opportunities and you know when I was going through this and pulling the cards the thing that came into my mind was big opportunities this month for you Aquarius opportunities in all aspects because that's what Jupiter brings it brings expansion opportunities for expansion in your life in all areas and um, it's so very powerful very powerful indeed um, so good luck good fortune this can connect to finances turning in your favor and um, this can connect to love wealth prosperity absolutely prosperity abundance can connect to jobs job opportunities arising can connect to self-love as well your own personal journey spiritual growth that type of thing so inner opportunities as well um because change happens within as well as in your external world this can also be about divine timing so almost kind of hidden blessings that you don't realize are there but things just may be working out in synchronicity for you so it's a beautiful energy beautiful energy i'm going to go to the moon card and i pulled a clarifier which again very positive the ten of cups this is very much when the moon energy is when our emotions can run wild and we have that fear we have that doubt we have that anxiety we can't see a way forward in a situation now because the moon reflects the sun and sometimes the path is in shadow it doesn't mean that it's not there and this is about you seeing past that illusion the illusion of your emotions the illusions that your emotions can create in your life it's time to reflect on that and almost kind of like see them for what they are, see the situation for what it is. Um, because the, could ca the, the moon can be very uh, illusionary. Um, so yeah, it's a beautiful energy. And the Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups very much about feeling that happiness almost within yourself and projecting it on your external world as well. This can be about where you're finding that soulmate relationship most definitely mentioned here. Things are turning more happy. I think you've been through a tough time in the past. But this is where things are turning in your favour, Aquarius. Um, where you're just finding that really happy place, that happy centre. Um, things are beginning to look more abundant. 
again when you have that emotional stability within you when you get a grip of those emotions you project that on your external world and that's the achievement of this card this is a 10 this is achievement coming through the other side of an emotional challenge and that's what you're doing um, and for the better as well for real growth appreciating those people who have supported you and yeah again deepening of a loving relationship could be committing to the next level with wedding mentioned um, but also just finding that happy partnership that happy place happiness in life again very much about the home as well now this is your card this is your um this is the card of aquarius this is about you understanding where you couldn't see that path forward here you're getting that sense of clarity now you're understanding that vision where you're heading towards seeing that star you see seeing the goal in sight now this could be in love this could be in business this could be with money friendships whatever it also talks about where there's the white stars the ordinary white stars in the sky this is your your opportunity to start shining your next part of the journey to start shining in your own individual light and um, because this is a yellow star surrounded by the white ones your own individual light your own individual yeah glory almost this can talk about expansion it links very much with the jupiterian theme of the wheel of fortune and um, the cup pours onto the soil and the earth fertilizing it creating growth expansion new ideas being fueled with creative thoughts you may well get ideas and thoughts that really have legs for new business opportunities potentially um aquarius that's probably where you get some direction creative ideas originality also your dreams matter in this card um connecting to dreams this is about divine wish fulfillment as well um, and i said the divine timing divine wish fulfillment uh, the moon can talk about hidden blessings from the divine and divine being god the divine the universe whatever it means to you so really powerful energy is having that sense of of knowing where you're going and healing from the past maybe healing from this energy whatever caused the moon energy you're healing from the past creating your own abundance on earth this is the beginnings of creation taking action i said you may well get ideas inspiration with that star energy again the empress is the very beginnings of creating something new whether it's a new business venture a new project a new hobby and um, could also be childbirth as well for some of you and this is almost kind of like where you're beginning to create that paradise on earth that ten of cups abundance feel um the empress is very much about love so deep love in relationships most definitely either finding somebody new or certainly deepening of a relationship and um, this is the card of venus whatever you're planning certainly maybe on the business financial front if you're starting something new this is the seed where you plant the seed you have the right foundation the knowledge the experience to make it grow to make it expand um this is new horizons territory and you see long term you see how the harvest has been cut here this is about long term reaping the harvest reaping your own rewards so yeah beautiful energy and again king of cups this could be somebody who is helping you this could be a loved one um this could be your other half potentially um somebody who you're connected to in love really happy a good listener you've got that deep emotional connection that heart connection it doesn't matter what the world throws at you really with this energy you see the choppy waters around the throne of the king of cups and it is male or female um it's not gender specific this person remains resolute unrockable because they're emotionally solid now you might be getting that emotional solidity from your other half your partner your husband wife or fiance and yeah you just feel more solid more stable more grounded this could also just be you coming through the other side of emotional depths um emotional upheaval depths of despair maybe that's what i'm feeling 
Um, because this card, he understands the real depths of the ocean, the depths of emotions, the extremes of emotions as well, and doesn't allow that to phase him, remains emotionally centred, and by doing that, projects that stability on his external world, so it's a beautiful energy, and creates this prosperity from it. Now, the Empress very much linked to prosperity, and also love, so yeah, beautiful energy. So we'll go to love, and yes, we have... The Hierophant can talk about weddings, yeah, weddings, um, ceremonies, commitment of relationships, most definitely. Um, this can talk about having faith in yourself again, um, having spiritual faith. Maybe that's helped you on the journey to get into this point. Um, finding a good meaning in life now where you might have been searching for meaning, where you've been searching for maybe that soulmate energy, this is where you're beginning to find that meaning again. Understand why it all happened the way it did. Um, so beautiful energy. Now this can also talk about traditional, following the traditional roots of marriage, engagement, proposals, and so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful card nevertheless. And we've got the world energy a real major positive completion, achievement, reasons to celebrate. And that could be linked to the marriage. Yeah, this could be linked to a marriage or a wedding. Um, so yeah, powerful, powerful. You have a new sense of self. This is you stepping through the other side onto a new phase of your life. And that could certainly be linked to weddings for some of you. So yeah, it's such a beautiful card. It's a real card of... Um, celebration, good news, optimism for the future, feeling complete, you see this circle, just feeling more complete, happy within yourself. Um, and yeah, the seven of pentacles, this could, it could well be that there has been some frustration in the past, certainly on your side or another person's side or your other half side in getting to this point it could have taken a long time to get to this point and maybe you were a bit frustrated um but nevertheless it talks about you're making solid steps solid firm steps pentacles energy always talks about solid commitment solid relationships um unmovable relationships something that you can really trust so there may well have been some frustrations even maybe on the on the money front um, overlapping, maybe it could be paying for a wedding, for example. Getting the money together to pay for a wedding has taken a long time. Um, could also be buying a house, that type of thing, things relating to property. Just taking a long time to get everything in order. But it's finally here, finally here, um, because there's a completion here. So yeah, starting a new phase of your life, which is beautiful. On the business front, business, money and career, Temperance energy talks about reconciling maybe the past and the present, um, maybe reconciling arguments with people, reconciling differences within you. This can be opposing emotions. Um, this can also talk about if you're setting off like the Empress energy, creating something new, going for a new job, um, starting a new business venture and you know, in business, career, finances. This is getting um, that right mix of ingredients, getting your product right, getting it priced right, um, getting the right package for a job. Do you know what I mean? This type of thing. Getting all those kind of like right core ingredients um, to make you feel balanced, to make you feel solid in life. Um, so yeah, it's a beautiful energy. It talks about the need for balance, internal balance, external balance. If it is to do with career and finances, this this um, person this person just tips their toe in the water, talking about moving forward with caution, a cautionary positivity. So step by step, not racing ahead, but just being cautious about what you're committing to and making sure that you've got the right blend of ingredients that suit you. Um, but yeah, very beautiful card. And just look, you can see the path there, path to new horizons. Yeah, gorgeous. The Emperor, now this can talk about following traditional roots, and this can talk about large organisations as well. 
So maybe getting um, looking for jobs, um, some successes, business promotions, expansion in in large organisations for some of you. Yeah, with lots of structure. Um, I also think this is where you're beginning to take that power back in your life. Recognise your own self-power, your self-worth, your capability to make things happen in the business front, in the money front. Um, you've learnt from experience. And you see this staff of life and this globe which represents the world. The emperor has the power to shape his life and his world. And that's what you're beginning to feel, this expansion Absolutely, expansion, opportunities presenting themselves. And this is a sign of achievement. So heading towards some signs of achievement this month. Um, so, yeah, beautiful energies. And, yeah, I mean, this is so lovely. Reasons to celebrate. Now, this could be linked to the wedding scenario as well. And these cards can cross over. But also reasons to celebrate maybe on the job, financial front, money front. Um and it's celebrating with friends, family, people who have supported you, people you've got emotional heart connection with. Um, so, yeah, beautiful, powerful energies, Aquarius. So very positive reading for this month. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great month and I'll see you next time. Thank you.